Uh, Richard Ward from Ward Brothers Farms. We're located in Columbus County. Yeah, we've been farming organically for nine years. All my life. <laughs> ever, ever since uh, we started back in the early 60s. Yeah, and I got out of high school and started. We uh, farmed part of our the land where we grew up on as a kid about 160 acres well uh, right now we're we're just growing tobacco and sweet potatoes iced potatoes and broccoli and kale and collards and we we cut back this past year on our crops and we weren't growing quite as many well we was one of the beginning members of it yeah, through sandy she we started with um, while she was working with CFSA, and uh, whenever they were trying to get Eco started, then you know we worked with her, marketing some of our products back then. Over the years, it's it's turned out to have been good for us. Well, we can plan to continue working with them until I reckon we retire. I'm 66 now, and I got many years left in it. We can, you know, to trying to farm. Well, uh, probably my farm, I set it out in pine trees, <laughs> grow timber on it after that. Right. The kids can have, have something there when they, years to come, they be profitable to them to have a crop of timber there on it. Well, just work in general, I enjoy working. Uh, I enjoy the challenge of getting out there and starting something and making it be successful. Well, I reckon growing organic tobacco is about my favorite crop. It's the most profitable crop that I grow. And it's the easiest managed. It, it is a little different from produce. It, when you get to growing your produce, you're confined to a, a schedule there of harvesting, packing, and moving it. And uh, with your tobacco, you're not tied down to that schedule is tight. You have to harvest pretty regular, but then you don't have to sell it. You can just keep it stored and move the product at a later date. And it's not as perishable like your vegetables. Well, the, probably the one thing I, I, I dislike the, the most about what I do is uh, the risk you have to take. You go out there and you don't never know when you start how the finish is going to be. The weather may cooperate and it may not. You may have a good crop and a hailstorm come through and clean you out. I've had that happen a many a time. A hurricane blew in on you and <laughs> mess you up. Those, those, that's basically what I would say would be the one thing that really I dislike. I don't know when I'm going to retire. I thought about it, and uh, what I'd love to do just retiring to think I did. What I do is just spend time with my grandkids and do things with them, something like that nature. I, I enjoy getting out and do outdoor activities. I intend on working as long as I'm fairly healthy and uh, can keep up with the pace that it requires. That's what I've done all my life, and uh, I did it because I enjoy the work. I, I just enjoy doing it. 